show you something. Since your father's death, your family's farm has been in receivership. Now, suddenly, they're flush with over 120 grand in the bank. And your father's illness was supposed to have wiped out of that bank account. Dying slowly in America, after all, can be a very expensive proposition. Turmoil today in Kahuku Village as a longtime family was served eviction papers. Good evening, I'm Pamela Young in for Paula O'Connor. And I'm Yanji Denise. The family who has said that it's called Kahuku home for four generations may now be forced to leave. Continental Pacific says it rightfully owns the land, but the family's attorney disputes the claim. Andrew Pereira has our top story at six. Andrew. Yanji Pam, the Eugenio family is fighting to hang on to the only home they've ever known. Continental Pacific says it gave the family every chance to become homeowners. Moving is hard enough, but when you don't want to go, well, that's downright painful. When I came home, I saw half of myself out of the house, and I got very hysterical. I, I was worried about my six animals, my goat, and my dog. The Eugenio family says it has called Kahuku Village home for the past four generations. But a dispute with landowner Continental Pacific resulted in the federal bankruptcy court in Honolulu issuing an eviction order August 1st. Friday morning, that order was served by a team of security guards with movers on hand. The Eugenios claim the men identified themselves as deputy sheriffs. I asked him if he was a sheriff. And he said, yeah, he was a sheriff. And I said, what you guys are doing is wrong. So me and my family have been here for generations. And how can they do that? It was promised to us to get, get the land. The Eugenio's attorney was able to keep the family from being evicted, at least for now. They had pretended they were the sheriff. And once you pretend to be a state official and you're not, that's a criminal act. I wasn't there, but I understand that Mr. Lubricchio threatened to sue him, and so he backed down and it's worse than they did. In May 2011, Continental Pacific offered longtime families the chance to purchase their properties for $150,000. Fifteen Kahuku villagers accepted the offer, but the Eugenios were among those who did not. The house belongs to the Eugenio. They purchased it under the Campbell estate, uh, former sugar plantation, for one dollar. Continental Pacific disputes that claim and says it's the rightful owner of both the house and the land it sits on. It was sold subject to a month-to-month -month lease in favor of the Kahoot Village Association. The Kahoot Village Association lease was terminated in 2011 and Continental Pacific entered month-to-month -month leases with each of the residents out there. Continental Pacific terminated its lease with the Eugenios in February of last year. The family refuses to go. My kids put in um, focus in school. They didn't want to go to school because they were worried that somebody's going to come and take everything. Continental Pacific says nine other families are facing